Hello everybody, it's Prime Notes here. Welcome back for a review for the 2012 film Magic Mike. And this film stars Shang Tatum, Alex Puffer, Cody Horn, Olivia Munn, Joe, Matt, Man Again, Hello, Kevin Nash, Matt Bomer, Gabriel Iglesias, and Matthew McConaughey. And this film is directed by Steven Soberg. And this film is basically about Chinese Tatum's character. His name is Mike, aka Magic Mike. And he's a construction worker in the day at night. He is a male stripper. That's until one day at work he meets this new guy and his new friend meets him at the strip club at the strip club I guess I can say. And he's like the new rookie to the new group, also known as the late the also, the ladies of Tampa, that's the song from the movie, The Kings of Tampa, so, yeah, and also, um, Channing Tatum wants to kind of not work as a stripper for the rest of his life, and he wants to pursue his dreams, like, he wants to have his own furniture company, which is a pretty interesting idea for a job, I mean, uh, homemade furniture sounds really cool, I'm, I'm just saying, I don't know if anyone wants to go to Ikea, or... Whatever, I'm just, I just something, I just said something random right there. Sorry about that. I was thinking of IKEA products for some reason. So that's what the phone's about. I blind bought this movie a month ago, and I actually did really like it. Um, I rewatched it last night just in time for this review. I know this movie came out for a few years ago, and um, I gotta say, it's a it's a really good movie. I did give this movie a chance. At the time when this came out, I was like, uh, not interested, but now I was interested. And it's because I saw, um, 21 Jump Street, which Shining Tim was really good at, and 22 Jump Street, and yes, I'm not gonna lie, G.I. Joe was the first movie, the first movie I saw him in, and kind of a guilty pleasure, and this movie's also a guilty pleasure too. I don't think it's that bad. No, I did not really see this movie just for the stripping scenes. I was curious how the film was going to be. And it went in a direction I did not really see coming. It actually feels like an art house film. But the cinematography in this film is well shot. It's beautiful, I believe. Um, Silverberg also did the camera work for this one. Doesn't see on here, but I think he did that. I think he is also the director of photography for the sequel, even though he direct, didn't direct it. Let's talk about the acting. The acting is really good. Chang Tam is good as always. Also, the rest of the supporting cast. But you know what? You know who the, who's the best part of this movie? Matthew McConaughey. I don't see his character on screen. I just see Matthew McConaughey on screen. He is awesome. This movie. He he just says whatever is on the script, but to me it feels like he was improvising for some reason. He does say all right, all right, all right in there, which is pretty funny. This is a comedy drama, and it does have, have some drama elements. Um, a few scenes that made me laugh a little. Yeah, there's a few scenes that made me laugh a little, actually. Um, the stripping scenes are well choreographed, I gotta say. Um, but I don't really have that much negatives. Well, the first time I saw this movie, I didn't like the brother and sister, but now watching it again, I didn't mind them. They were they were all right in the role. Um, no pun intended, just because I said all right, and McConaughey's in this movie. Um, I gotta say, it's a well-directed movie, and I believe this is also based on Chang Tatum's stripper career. Um, I'm not exactly sure when he was a stripper or not, but I know him as an actor, of course, but... Overall... I'm going to give Magic Mike a B+, a 3.5 out of 5. It's a solid movie, even though I'll talk about the mo the sequel at some point, which I honestly kind of do enjoy a little bit more. It's a little bit more fun and funny. It's a little bit ridiculous, and it's also a road trip flick. But yeah, that's my thoughts on Magic Mike, if you guys have seen this film. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Is it one of your favorites of 2012? Um... Yeah, um, also please like this video, comment below what you think of it. Like our Facebook page, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Peace. Have a good day.